guys, welcome to our completely crazy, no, no, well, it is completely crazy. Welcome to our perfectly crazy life. Um, don't forget if you do like this video, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you can be updated on our newest videos. So I haven't, um, really, we haven't posted any like our family stuff since Tuesday. We did a little bit of videoing, but it's been a busy week. So this is just kind of casual check-in chat and checking in on your mental health. Hopefully everybody's okay and doing okay. And we're still in for a long haul and this weather hasn't helped anything. The lack of sun, I think is getting pretty depressing. More snow last night. More snow last night. Rain all day today. Um, that I think severely affects everybody. So hopefully everybody's doing okay and hangs in there and uh, I don't know. I just, we just gotta wait it out. So I'm just gonna make supper while I'm talking to you guys. Um, so we've had a decent week, um, been fairly busy at, well, I guess what we can call busy at the moment. Um, not as busy as we usually are, but busy enough with her. Um, Homeschooling seems to be getting better this week. Um, Landon's doing a project on the killer whale and he did a video on that. And so things are things are going okay. Um, so my whole planner thing, epic fail this week. <laughs> Big time fail. I think we did a couple of the tasks and the things that we wanted to. Menu has not went to plan but that's okay that's bound to happen at least we had an idea if we wanted to do something so we'll try again next week it's thursday now getting closer to the weekend although weekends are different now weekends are the same as weekdays really i don't know hope everybody's doing okay hope everybody's keeping their sanity so i'm Tonight for supper, I'm trying a couple new things just for fun. Um, I want it. I'm not a big fan of vegetables. I'm probably, for being a cook, I am like the world's pickiest eater. Eater. I love cooking it all. I'm not a big fan. So, but I am trying. I wanted to try some like oven roasted broccoli, like at like a really high heat. So like heat it at heat your oven up to 425 and just cut the broccoli up small and roast it with olive oil and salt. And so I'm gonna do some olive oil on there fairly generously because you want it to almost fry-ish, I don't know. And then uh, throw some kosher salt on, never forget the salt. And then I had some bacon from the quesadilla video that I did, so I figure, you know, bacon to anything can't be bad. Make so. it a little more healthy. Yep, yep. So this will maybe take the vegetable thing away, <laughs> maybe like it more. And I had some red onion too, and I love my onion, so throw that on there. And then I'm gonna take a lemon because I've seen this too. So I'm gonna squirt some fresh lemon all over it. I can smell the bacon. <laughs> oh, and then I found a cut in my hand. And lastly, I'm gonna throw on some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. So I have this too. We don't have a box of Parmesan very often in our house, but I wanted to do something with it. So I have extra. And I've seen this too, someone that had done this. And I forget, it was on someone's YouTube channel. Who do you watch on YouTube? I've got a lot of, I found a lot of things that I really like. Um, I watch Frugal Fit Mom a lot, she's great. Um, I watch Fathering Autism, I really enjoy that. Um, I've got a bunch of other ones that I watch. I'll list them later. All right, so I'm just gonna throw that in the oven at 425 and see what happens. Um, and I'm also doing fried chicken. 
it's been my nemesis. Like fried chicken has been my nightmare because I couldn't, I've just never gotten it perfect. But I did Nashville hot chicken, a recipe that I got from Sam the Cooking Guy. Awesome channel. If you like to cook and learn techniques and stuff and awesome recipes, he's wrote something to watch. Really good. All right, so I took a chicken, a whole chicken. Um, I, I'm gonna put gloves on for this because I'm a big fan of messing with raw chicken. These are just cheap vinyl gloves that you can get online that I keep around for cleaning and stuff. Not medical grade, otherwise I would have donated them. Oh, also tomorrow, um, I believe everyone is trying to wear red um, to support Nova Scotia and the horrible incident that has gone on there and I can't even imagine in these times what those families are going through. So wear red tomorrow, everybody. Support what Nova happened? Scotia. What happened to Nova Scotia? I took the chicken um, and I cut the back and I cut out um, the backbone, I guess. The spine. Uh, I'm not a butcher. Spine. No, it wasn't spine. Well, I guess chicken. Uh -huh. I don't know. I'm not a butcher. I cut it down the back, cut out the bone, pulled it out, and kept the bone, froze it so that I can use it for chicken stock. Soon. Okay, so I got the chicken. It's been flattened. Okay, and so I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna work. I should have done this in a bigger container. This is just a casual. I wasn't really planning for this. This was an experiment. Oh, so in this egg mix, so it's eggs. I did two eggs, some milk, and I threw in some hot sauce. Um, I didn't have any buffalo sauce at home. I forgot it at work. So it's just um, like a second, like a medium sauce, second degree sauce. So get that all nice and coated, and I should have put it in flour first, and I didn't. Oh wow! Not doing so good tonight. Okay. Now with the flour dredge, this is salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, and flour, and then you want to take a little bit of your I don't have a spoon, so egg liquid, and drip it in because that's going to give you like the crispy, flaky crunchy bits it's okay I got it yeah so that's perfect so now we are going to do this and make a huge mess I can see this now yep <laughs> that's how it works because I didn't plan this out very well say messy cook is a sign of a good cook I think sometimes. So anyways, we want to get all this into every nook and cranny of the chicken. Okay. I need a bigger plate. Let's, let's do this. Okay. New okay. gloves. So clean up after. Okay, so I'm going to move said chicken into a bigger pan <laughs> and make sure it gets nicely coated. The real heat comes from the hot oil that you put on after the chicken is cooked. This just kind of gives it flavor. This doesn't make it spicy because like my kids are not going to all eat super spicy. They'll eat fried chicken, just not spicy fried chicken. So I'm not worried about this being too spicy by any means. It just gives it flavor. So like I said, make sure you get all that in there and see how that there, that's where I kind of put that egg into the flour. That's gonna make like nice crispy little bits. Under 
those wings. And I am making a giant mess. All right. Nicely coated. Nicely coated, and I'm just gonna check the oven because. Oh, look at that broccoli! It's all crisping up. Nice. All right. I like that. Looks good. I was getting concerned because it was smoking a little bit, but no, it actually looks really good. Um, so I have. That's how I test my oil. Make sure it's hot. I've got it about seven point. I'm probably gonna turn it down now to about six and a half. Okay, so we've got this nicely coated now. I'm gonna bring this over. I've got my oil ready, broccoli. I turned the oven off. Um, so it looked about perfect, nice and like crispy, and it'll finish cooking now. The oven's nice and hot still. So I'm really it smells awesome. So we'll see. So now I'm gonna take our friend here. Sorry. We're gonna bring him over to this nice hot oil. Hopefully not burn the house down. Like I said, I prefer to do this outside. So because there is moisture in the chicken, just bring it in slowly. I only had like maybe not even an inch of oil in it. Okay, we're safe. That's a good sign. So we are going to, and I might even turn it down now a little bit. All right, so we'll let that sit for a little bit. It's gonna take a while. I have some, uh, I made some, I tried to make, that's another one I watched, Emmy Meets Japan, or Emmy Made in Japan, sorry, Emmy Made in Japan. Um, and I made some bread, but my yeast, was a little bit old, so I don't think it worked as well as it should have. So it was way denser than it should be, but it's still really good for like garlic bread and stuff. And since I can almost guarantee that two of my children are not gonna eat vegetables, I'm gonna make some garlic bread so that they have that with the chicken. So I'm just gonna slice that up. See how it's 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 fairly heavy and fairly dense, but that does make a really nice toasted garlic bread with some cheese on it. So I'll grab a cookie sheet and throw that in the oven. So challenging myself. Uh, since it looks like we are still gonna be on lockdown for at least another month, um, some things I've really wanted to try to do, but I've never had the time. I've been way too busy. I've been wanting to, I have some cookbooks. So we were last July, we were in Austria and I'll go into why we were in Austria in another video. But, so I got this cookbook and it has all um, like German, Austrian cuisine in it. And I'm really looking forward to going through this page by page. And so that's one of my challenges is to make every recipe in here. Second is another reason, this is another thing from Austria. Um, like I said, we'll go through that on another video, um, but it is a very close, um, I call them family, um, had sent me this. He teaches a culinary, at a culinary uh, school, vocational school in Austria, and he gave me his workbook and translate it all into English for me, which was absolutely amazing. So I did the first two recipes in there and then I got busy and I haven't done it since. So that's my next challenge. And then, well, again, it's still going back. Um, they also sent me this, which is, I love this book. Um, it's from the Culinary Institute of America, The Art of Baking and Pastry. So I am studying this right now, going page by page, and hopefully learning a whole lot on that end of things, because that's not my forte. Like, I'm not huge into that section of food. I'm more of a cook, but I really want to expand something because it is a very artistic thing to get into that. 
Okay. Seems like we're doing good here. Making a mess on my spoon, which I hate. Let's uh, see what this undercut looks like. Ooh, okay. So, all right. So we got some skin that's like, oh. All right. Not a big deal. Like I said, it was an experiment. Um, why I'm bothering, but oh, I'm going to take my nice towel off. This drives me crazy. No, I'm just... Mm. I am a clean-as-you-go type cook. I hate mess. Just going to throw some right on here. I'm going to throw some garlic butter on it and just some cheese. Very simple. Nothing. Not looking bad other than the one burnt part in the middle. I'm, I'm okay with it so far. We'll see how moist it is. I don't know. I have done this where the chicken's all broken down so I would take this chicken and cut it into it'd be eight pieces and then fry it and it worked out perfect. I just wanted to try this for the heck of it. And I got nothing else to do at the moment. So our week this week. <laughs> um, so my plan was Monday went well. Tuesday, pretty good. Tuesday was our pajama day. So that wasn't really anything too crazy. Wednesday was, what was Wednesday, Jer? I can't oh, remember. paint night. Oh yeah, paint, paint rock. rock night. Okay, yeah, and yeah. Jade and Maya ended up painting some rocks. We brought some. She's got, actually, Jade has a beautiful rock over there. Oh, that's Maya's rocks. Uh -huh. And then Jade did one of the Big Dipper, which turned out really nice. Jade's very artistic. Landon didn't participate. I, did, I ended up going to bed early. I was tired. And I edited the video yeah. from yesterday. So we kind of been working weird hours. He stays up late. I go to bed early. I get up early. Well, so does he. Yeah, that's not really fair, is it? No, but... Um, and then today... Uh, today is supposed to be camping more than the night, but I'm not sure how well that's going to go. That may be we might skip that one. And tomorrow's supposed to be crazy here today in here. He's threatening me that he's going to shave his head. I'm going to give myself a mohawk for the day. Yeah, we'll see about that. So I'm going to take this because I don't want it to get so crazy dark. It's got the nice crisp. Let me take the ah, broccoli out for now and then I will pop it back in for a few seconds at the end. I know it looks fur, but I think that's the way it's supposed to look. Looks good, I think. Ish, maybe. Okay, so turn that off. I'm going to turn my oven back on to 350. I'm going to take Mr. Chicken here. I'm going to shove them into a small pan like I should have last time because, yeah, I still got a lot of cooking to do. So I'm going to guess to get through this whole chicken, it's probably going to be another, like, 30 minutes at least. So we're just going to leave him in there uncovered so he stays crispy. 